What's up, YouTube? We're back with another video. I didn't make you wait a whole month this time. Whose man am I? No idea. But today we're going to be taking a look at some of the new content that dropped, or at least at the time recording this is today. So, like, I don't, I'm hoping I get it up today. Today we're going to be taking a look at all the Player of the Month content headlined by good old James Paxton. This was the big beefy diamond for the Player of the Month uh, content that dropped for July. Very simple, easy grind. Definitely recommend getting it. This actually looks like a solid pitcher. I liked James Paxton. He had a Player of the Month, I think, last year, too. Uh, I liked him in 2019. And, I mean, he has a sinker, which is the pitch. He's got a cutter. Very nice. He has the curveball. I mean, you'd like a slider somewhere in there, but that's fine. Nice pitch mix. Throws 97, 95, down to 81. So good variation in speed. And again, his per nines look fantastic. He's got nice velo, got nice break. Everything about him looks pretty solid. And this card is prestigeable, so he can get even better. Uh, we're going to throw him in there. I've got all the player of the month stuff in there. Every one of like, if there's a player of the month card, it's in this build, or at least as best as I could. Uh, I even have the 95 overall Edwin in here. Fastball slider change up. And I feel like Edwin's pretty easy to, to read, but who knows? Maybe he'll uh, be able to do a nice little inning of relief for me. Super cool card art on this card as well. Uh, with those like player jersey, player choice week, whatever jerseys. Uh, definitely thought those were pretty cool. But Mariners fans should have a little bit of a stiffy here because they get that Paxton, which is a Mariners card, and the Diaz, uh, which is also one. So there you go. I also put Neris in there since he's the other player of the month reliever. Uh, it doesn't, I don't believe there's any others. Yeah, there's no others. Uh, and then all my starters are player of the month cards. And then back over to my lineup here. Everybody's a player of the month. So all the cards from this month are in, obviously. Yasmani Grandal looking really nice to catcher. I like his swing quite a bit. 96 power against righties is pretty nice, too. And a switchy. The only issue is really his arm is kind of weak. And he's got seven speed. So he's toting, I don't know, a freaking tractor trailer of shit behind him. And then also... We've got uh, Jonathan Scope. This card looks very nice. You guys probably enjoy his BR card, his gold card. Uh, he's always got a nice little pop to him. Play second. Solid defense on this card, too. Uh, he's got gold defense, 82 fielding, 92 arm strength. So you could technically throw him over at third, and he'd still have the arm to get it there. So if you like this card, you got a little bit of flexibility. And then Ramon Lor Loriano. Uh, I, it's funny. This card last year, I didn't really try him. But I think a ton of people told me that this was a nice card. He's got a, he's got solid defense with 80 fielding, but the 99 arm strength and 99 arm accuracy is incredible. 79 speed, so he's not slow. Very nice. Defensively, you're going to enjoy this card. And offensively, he's got some nice uh, attributes as well. 97, 96 against righties, 109, 73. I think he should be a solid card, so I threw him in there. We're going to give him a good look too. And so we're going to jump into it. If you like stuff like this, be sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. I greatly appreciate it. Come hang out with us on Twitch. We'll be live streaming tonight over there, twitch.tv slash daddydemontv. That is in the description below, so do it or your mama's a hoe. And then also click the subscribe button if you're new. I really appreciate it. Climbing to 40K, who knows? Maybe we'll hit it this year. I'm going to probably regret this, but I'm gonna play at TNT Park or Safeco, whatever the hell it's called now. Since we're debuting Paxton, you know, he was a Mariner's card, so only time you're gonna see me play a ranked game here. Hopefully, hopefully I'm away. Who knows? We'll find out. Okay, we're the way team, so at least I'm not home and playing there, or whatever. But this guy's got a beefy team. Christy Matthews is on the bump for him, but then he's got Mickey Mantle. He's got Jackie Robinson, the 99. He's got Prestige, Didi, and Chipper, and Belly. His cap is his catcher. He's got Biggio. And then I think that was Ellsbury. I don't know. It went away too quick, but uh, holy shit. Oh, wait. What the fuck? We're playing at Rogers. All right. For some reason, I thought that was Seattle for a minute. Uh, Seattle's got like a Space Needle thing. Not Space Needle, but they got something. They got they got some kind of landmark out there, right? Something. I'm not worldly. All right, we got to jump out early. Christy Mathewson. I'm trying to think if I've even seen this card before. I don't believe I have. Why are we paused? What are we doing with our lives? The real interesting thing is, is Paxton going to be good? I think he looks solid. Who knows? Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you're upset with this. Comment down below, do you like James Paxton? Are you excited to try him, or are you like, meh, he sucks? I think he should do good. If I can get through five, six innings with him, you know, maybe one, two run ball. If I can if I can just pitch effectively with him, I'll be stoked. Again, I like his pitch mix, so I'm, I have high hopes for him. Oh my God, Christy Matthewson takes 17 years to throw a pitch, and then I'm going to be impatient and swing. This is going to be a rough one here for you boys, but let's get it. For Scope being one of the weaker cards in this set, he's actually pretty solid looking. So maybe I can just grab a hold of one like right there. That'll get through. Good little swing there. Little Scopey Popey on the bases. 
And then Cody Bellinger. I like this card quite a bit. He threw it down the middle, and I suck. Another lightning card, Carlos Correa here. I mean, honestly, if you think about it, like, I, and in terms of exchanges, I really didn't have to do much. I think I spent maybe like 700 stubs. I just used the stuff I already had to exchange for some of these player of the months. This is a free starting pitcher card, the Paxton card that you get. I mean, it, it was minimal. It took me 45 minutes to get him. So it wasn't like a long grind even. Carlos Correa gives that one a good rip. Man, we got all of that one, but it's not even going to make it to the track. Why is that? I don't really know. No idea. Maybe you do. At least we know this will be a good test for Paxton as he's got a ton of beefy cards, even the prestige cards. So he's going to have to go up against really good hitters every stop of the way here. First pitch swinging though with Mantle. You'd love to see that. Derek Dietrich should get the out and he does. I could have put Zimmerman at first, by the way, but like, yo, heck that in the mouth. What if he chases me low with this knuckle curve? Let's find out. Uh, you almost did. Wow, Jackie gives that one a good rip. Got all of that. Missed right over the heart of the plate. That's my fault. Easy peasy to hit. Just got to go up down. Not worried. I mean, it was 17 feet out of the zone, but who gives a shit about that? Now, Yasmani Grandal does have an absolutely dog poopy arm, as you can see right there. Sinker, we're going to get him to nice pop it up there. You ain't moving. Keep that runner in second. This man is hitting under 300 with Chipper, and I'm going to tell you something. Deep down in my loins, I'm very offended. I may have to... Oh, my Jesus. Shit, he almost hit the fuck out of that. Strikeout. Let's go. Paxton records his first punchy. Gives up a hit and a stolen base, but who gives a damn? All right, still 0-0. Zero, zero. We got this. All right, so the goal here is to beat the piss out of Christy Mathewson specifically. Not the person I'm playing, but just Christy Mathewson because he takes 47 years to throw a pitch to the damn plate. And then there we go. Derek Big Dick Dietrich does exactly what his name says. He whips out that big old wiener. And that will be our first run of the game. Let's go. Ismani Grandal has the power against righties too. So right here, he's got a nice swing in general, like on his live series. And you know what? Did he just get a good little, he got a good piece there. Gonna go right to him a little early. Fuck me. I am so early on every pitch right now. I, I've been practicing on legend here lately. And uh, I'm gonna blame it on that. Well, shit. All right, that was good timing. I just suck. I just chase, you know what? You, there's no excuse for that. I just suck. All right, Cavan, Cavan Biggio. What a fucking weird name. And then Cavan Biggio, he gets mad at me calling his name weird as shit, and he'll get himself a good old double. We still cooking. I'd like to get another run. Give me a little bit of wiggle room here. Uh, you know what, though? James Paxton's coming up, and uh, you know what? Shit. Oh, my God, did pa <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, James Paxton with an RBI single. Let's go, boys. That's what you get for throwing a fastball right down the poop chute. Didi, I'm so damn early. He's throwing me all these. Christy Mathewson just throws fucking hoopy poopy breaking balls, and it's screwing with my face. You ever throw pitches and, like, the opponent check swings, and you're like, how the fuck did you check swing that? Like, how did you ever think that you should swing at that pitch? Because this guy has done that like 46 times to me. And I'm like, what the hell are you looking at? And then he strikes out to a damn sinker down the middle. Thank you. Does his cap have Max Muncy's batting stance? Is that what that was? That's kind of an odd one. You don't really see Max Muncy be in caps batting stances often. You know what I mean? This damn guy's favorite game must be checkers because he's check swinging every effing damn pitch. And I'm getting pissy, but you know what? Three up, three down, big dick style. Let's go. Paxton looking pretty good. He's got an RBI single. He's got two punch outs, I think, and he's got scoreless ball. All right, here's go, big boy power. Honestly, with Christy Batson, I feel like the move is just to sit for the breaking pitches and just golf him out of here. Like, like that right there. Like that right there. You just look. He just you just sit on the breaking pitch and you go. I'm gonna get that right in the mouth. Cody, Cody Big Dick Bellinger, good night, nurse! 3-0, player of the month cards cannot be stopped. I always think I suck with this Correa, but then I just saw his batting average is like 360-something. I, I don't know the hell I'm smoking. 
Correa down the line. Don't catch it. Yeah, that's right. You lunge. Let's go, baby. Correa with a nice little double. Nobody out still. We cooking. Hal Newhouser stepping out. All right. Instead of Dietrich, you're going to get fat boy Jesus Aguilar. I'm coming for that ass, son. It is nice of him to put a starter in. I'm going to be out here. But it is nice of him to put a starter in so that I don't feel bad when I use the other player of the month cards. Because, like, I'm going to try to only use player of the month cards even when I'm pitching. But, like, it feels kind of douchey to bring starters out. Now I don't have to feel bad. I'm under that one, too. No, Grandal! 65 speed, though. Mantle, you think I can run on that? You think I can run on that? Fuck it. Let's try. 65 speed. Oh, sweet tits. I'm gun. No, I'm not. He threw it terribly. Let's go, boys. We in there like swimwear. All right, Loriano still has respectful stats against lefties. And you know what? He's going to get a nice little slap right there. That's not going to fall, though, because why would it? <laughs> he just tried to bunt with Jacoby. What the fuck just happened? I'm going to have to beat this kid's ass now. I probably could have got the guy a second. I probably could have, but honestly, 4 nothing lead. Why, why dig yourself a hole? Let him have his bunt. Whatever, the kid hasn't hit like shit or has hit like shit the entire game so far. And you know what? He's going to first pitch swing with Mantle again and give me a freebie freebie out. You know what? Whatever. Let him have it. Let him have it. I don't know how, but I feel like if you bunted three times and this guy's made three attempts to bunt and it's only the third, that's a little excessive. I understand bunts are part of baseball, but that's like a lot of bunts. I keep finding these kids, the, the, little, the little bunt gang. Oh, sweet Jesus. I can't believe it. I don't know what just happened. God bless your soul, son. God bless your soul. All right, 0-2 count to Cavan. Come on, boys. And I just struck out. I'm disgusted in who I am as a person. James Paxton's back up. He hit a good old RBI single earlier. So who knows? Maybe maybe we'll get lucky and get one of those weird, rare home runs with a pitcher. And I'm all for it because I'm not hitting Newhauser so far. And it's bothering me. Oh, my God. Did Paxton just do it again? Did Paxton just do it again? No, he didn't. He almost did. I'm not going to lie. Two hits with Paxton, especially two crappy hits. I feel like this fellow would have quit. Didi against the shift. Don't worry. Whoever the hell's in left is going to run 922 kilometers and track that ball down. Dude was in left center and was like, don't worry. I'm going to run to the foul lines and scoop that one up. Don't. Yeah, we're good. The checking check swinger. Oh, my God. Shipper got a good piece of that one. I'm going to get lucky that stays in, to be honest. I think he got all of that one, and the game just said, nah. Yeah, it's good timing. Tough luck there, kiddo. Holy shit. Okay, there we go. Beautiful curveball. And another punch out for Paxton. The goat. What in the fuck is that hit? All right, his cap's got a hit. I think it literally hit his left hand, but whatever. Second baseman. I don't know what's going on with that. I've seen that a couple times now where all of a sudden the shortstop runs in when he should run over on a ball. I don't understand that. He gets a run, but whatever. And let's go. That'll be out number three. Jesus Aguilar scoops it up. Easy. Look, he got the run. Who cares? Both those hits were aggressively weak, but it doesn't matter. We still got a 4-1 lead. I'm feeling confident. Paxton's looking good for the most part. I mean, he, you can't really help those bad hits. All right, scope. Let's turn them hips and unload. Come on, baby. Scope two for two. I want a big homer, though. I'm a dumb bitch. Cody Bellinger again. It doesn't effing matter. It's gone. He's the greatest card in the game. Let's go, boys. Five to one. We get our run back. Love to see it. Correa. We got a good piece of that one. A little bit on top of it, but it'll be an easy out over to second. I'm still glad that we got our hit off of Hal Newhouser. We got our home run. Lefty, lefty. Still feels good. All right, Fat Boy Aguilar. Listen, I got a thing for the Fat Boys because, listen, I am a Fat Boy. I know. I was shocked when I found out, too. And so I need Aguilar to unload on a baseball here. And he's not going to. I'm going to get under it because I'm a terrible baseball player and I have let down the Fat Boys again. Guys got Hannes Wagner off the bench and he said, you know what? I'm going to drop a bunt. Okay. Drops another bunt. I mean, I guess shame on me for not playing bunt defense. I just I just don't understand these kids that bunt because they can't hit with anybody else. Oh, the hit and run. That worked out perfectly. That worked out perfectly, you sneaky little bitch. You sneaky little bitch. That's going to be a weak pop fly. Don't let it. Don't let, let's go. Come on. He's, he's tagging. 
throw the plate. I think he's gunned. Oh, and he is. Suck it. Oh, yes. Cody Bellinger have a game, son. Grandall cannot throw anyone out to save his life. Holy poop. The weakest catcher in terms of arm strength. All right, we get a punch out though with Paxton. No harm in it. Let's go. Easy. 5-1 still. Five innings for Paxton. One run ball. Again, you can't be really mad. They were two weak hits. It happens. A couple punch outs. He's looking good. The fuck? He put a pitcher in and then said, you know what? This isn't for me. I quit. Okay. All right. So that's weird. One thing I do want to show you, though, right quick, is if you get these player of the month cards, if you've been grinding them. Again, they're free. So why not grind them? If you come over here to the good old monthly award tab, you're going to notice that if you collect four of them, you get a duck on the pond elite pack. Now, I have high hopes for what this could be because that could be Chapman, which I desperately so badly want. And so I will be taking a look at it. I'm not going to open this high series pack yet. I'm going to save that because that's going to be something that really helps us with no money spent. We're like three cards away. You'll see that in the next video. But I wanted to open this elite duck on the pond pack so you can see what you what you get. Uh, I have I have hopes. I have hopes. What do we get? come on the floor oh now that's probably not the normal reaction someone should have but i'm taking a role as chapman and he's the greatest card in the game now and now i have him on no money spent and technically i could sell him and we can unlock mantle what do we do do we keep him do we not keep him i don't know but if you enjoyed this content be sure to leave a thumbs up on the video it helps more than you know comment down below who your favorite of the player of the month cards are and if you like this paxton i'm interested to hear Again, I think I was very excited to see him, and I, so far I like him. Okay, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm stupid. I don't know. But subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow on Twitter. Follow on Twitch. That link's in the description as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.